Hello, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I'm going to exhibit the uh, print screen button that's on your keyboard and how to bring that into your soft or your image processing software program. And today we're going to use GIMP for that, but uh, anything on the internet, anything in a Word document, toolbar, whatever it is you need to capture that shows up on your screen, you can capture it using the print screen button on your keyboard. Now my print screen button is located next to my special function keys toward the top of your keyboard, so look around and find it. And at this point, I'll just uh, go out to the internet, and I can just go up to perhaps like CNN, and develop that page. And then perhaps I I want the whole screen right now, but then I'm just going to crop down to a certain part of it. So I'll probably take my cursor out of the way of what I don't want in the picture, and I'll hit my print screen button at this time. So hit print screen, and you can exit out of this as long as you've hit print screen and then we'll start up our image software image processing software which in our case is GIMP and it doesn't matter if it's, you can use paint or um, Photoshop or whatever but file I'm sorry we're not gonna go to file we're gonna go to edit and you have paste as and paste as new image is the one you want to select and you'll see your screenshot come up and uh, this is really good for teachers and professors who build uh, booklets and need toolbars and such to uh, exhibit but anyway you usually don't leave it like this usually you want to uh, crop it down to some particular part of it so I'll just use my uh, rectangular select tool to crop let's just say for instance I wanted this part and just to get the banner and the different tabs and then I'll go to uh, image and then crop to selection and just grab that part and then that this part I can save if I had a reason to save it and uh, give it a name and I'll just call it CNN example and it can just be a JPEG and then hit save and just hit save again and then you've captured it. it's got a name now so that's how you uh, can capture anything that's on the screen and that goes for Facebook conversations uh, chats whatever you need to um, capture and save as an image thank you